Hello, LinkedIn family, and welcome to this edition of Real Talk with Bob Mars from Beyond Clean. I look so forward to joining you over the next couple of months and can't wait to share ideas and thoughts and practices with you that will hopefully help you in your everyday journey through sterile processing. Um, all of these things that I'll be sharing with you are ideas and, and hints that I learned through my journey uh, up through sterile processing as a technician, a lead tech, a case car coordinator, supervisor, manager, and then ultimately director. Um, I want to share things that maybe uh, helped me and things maybe that didn't work so well for me. Um, but we're going to talk about everything that you can imagine in the sterile processing department. We'll talk about the life cycle of an instrument from the time it leaves the operating room and comes to decontamination, then goes to assembly, then sterilization, then storage, and back to the operating room. We're going to talk about the Joint Commission and DNV and give you little snippets and uh, tidbits to hopefully help you prepare for your surveys, uh, prepare uh, way ahead of time and not just the week before, and how to stay prepared for them. In each area, we'll get very specific in decontamination, what we can do with regards to best practice. Also in assembly, how do we inspect the instruments? What are we looking for? We're gonna look at various types of staining, from silicate staining to di different corrosions, whether it be uh, surface corrosion or friction corrosion or pitting corrosion. We'll be sharing ideas with you to help you uh, prevent these issues from happening. And if you do have them, how to move forward with them. We're gonna talk about sterilization and load monitoring. We're gonna talk about best practices with storage and then returning the devices to the OR. We're gonna talk about HR topics, hiring, firing, competencies, job descriptions, everything that we need to know in sterile processing to lead our department appropriately. We're gonna talk about everything that you can imagine. We're gonna have a leadership series. Um, we're gonna talk specifically to administrators in your facility and make sure that they understand who sterile processing is and what they do so that they can better make decisions both responsibly with fiscal requirements, providing dollars needed to your department to help you grow, whether it be with equipment or staffing or things like that. We'll be talking to physicians specifically so they understand exactly what's happening in sterile processing. We'll be talking to the OR so they understand exactly what it means when we say turnaround. How long is it going to take us to get an instrument back to you on a typical day? I look forward to talking with you over the next weeks and months and I hope you'll be able to join us. Make sure that when you listen to these videos, you like them, uh, you share them, and comment. I want to know, and Beyond Clean wants to know what you think about this video series, if we're providing you with relevant information that's helping you in your daily battles and sterile processing. I look forward to talking with you, and I wish you all the best success as you go through your daily journey. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day.